All right, guys, welcome back. Day number six. If you can see behind me, Jess just got done figure eight and one. We're at our first spot of the day. We've got a major right away this morning, so we got up a little bit earlier. We're on our first spot. Jess has made four casts. We're on our hot spot. Um, we've been catching a bunch of fish in this area. Jess is throwing a depth rater right now. Kevin's throwing a mag dog, and I'm going to throw a double dog pounder to start. See what happens. We got clouds. Clouds have been good to us. See what happens. I think we're going to get some muskies. You got one up there? Well, we got one. Sucker? Yep, 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 yep. When you get that cast in, Jess. Is it a fish? I think so. I think so. It's coming towards us. Yep. Drop that rod tip. Yep. Atta boy. Atta boy. Drag backed up. Are you? Oh my God, we suck! What are we doing? That's right where you're 49 inch your bit too. Same exact spot. That felt pretty good. Mm-hmm. Looks like it. Follow. Bring that sucker up, Jess. Just fell off. Keep going. Bring it up to like 15. It's still on me. Bring it right over here in this corner. Yeah. Still on my dog. I'm at 18. Bring it up to 10. You guys can see this fish going around and around. Right here's where it came in. Then you can see my my bait's a smaller piece, and there's the fish. Next turn, bait, fish. Next turn, bait, fish. Bait, fish, bait, fish. She just kept going around and around. And then Jess moved the sucker up. Then she came back here twice. But you can use this as your eyes. I never actually saw the fish with my eyes. I was just watching it going around. I'll pull my dog past my deucer. Let this screen refresh. My transducer is right here, so it shoots a line out right here. So if I'm to take my bait, pull it through the line of my transducer, there's the blip right there. It just came through. I'll go back through it again. There's the blip right there. First one, second one. That's the bait, and obviously you'll see a big fish behind it. Okay. <laughs> that one's running. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, I'm trying to tighten the drag. You don't have to tighten the drag right now. We got, let me get spun around. That's these boys. Chomping on it. See if you can put a little pressure on him to try and get him to swim away from you. I think he is. Is he? You well, think? I can't gain on him. You can hit him if you want. Nice. Okay. 
You doing good? Yeah. I might give you the... This the drag? Yeah. I got it pretty spooled. Okay. Turn the boat. Oh yeah. Fatty. Oh, oh my god. Didn't tear the hooks out of them. Look at that sucker tore up. Oh man, we're sucking on suckers. Two city. Shredded. So what, I had to hook set harder to get the hook out? Well, or? This one came out. But this oh, one that went in. Out. That didn't help. I didn't even see the sucker in the fish, though, or the, I thought like the sucker was already gone and you set the hook. I didn't see the sucker. It was like, what, 40? Yeah, 42. A little bigger than that. Yeah. Damn it. Go to the front of the boat, probably. Here we have some attitude from Doug because he's sick of losing sucker fish, so Let's see if he can actually catch one. He's probably gonna miss it. No. Ready? Set the hook. <laughs> I don't know, Doug really leaned into that hook set. You have to. Not touch all the, of us can be touch six, the water. Six, two and what? 280? <laughs> 320? <laughs> 230. <laughs> Flip the numbers. You gotta put that weight into them. Yeah, you put the weight No, you wanna re reel down till you get like from what I've been told, like I said, I know very little about sucker fishing. Um, this is the third musk I've ever caught in a sucker. My first two were like two weeks ago. Um, but basically what I was told from the guys who taught me was basically you want to get as, make sure the fish is swimming away from you or get right over top of the fish. We got we, we got a bunch of line back. Um, we were at like 90 feet. The fish just took off. I got all that line back, moved the boat over top of the fish. The fish was swimming away from me. I reeled down. I had about 18 inches of line. I knew I was tight and I dropped my rod tip 18 inches basically to the water and I ripped up as hard as I could. It just worked out for me, but fish in the bag. One of uh, five bites today. Okay, my turn on the sucker. Another mid to low 40 inch eagle fish. Awesome. Nice job. Yeah. I named my I named my sucker Jesse and Jesse's not good at catching 50 inches, so I probably should have named it something else. But nice fish. Beautiful. Got one. Oh, you bitch. Oh. She missed it. She literally ate my fucking leader. Oh, yeah. Poor foot, for sure. She like rolled up and like totally like paused. Like she ate my fucking leader. No, like she she hit me in front of my bait. Yeah. Oh my god. Right on peak. That was like the, she barely she, had it. Yeah, she well she you didn't even see her until she bit. 
Why do they do that? They come out of nowhere. She did the same thing on yours. <laughs> you look like a raccoon. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on day number six. I don't know if we suck or if we just have really bad luck, but we should have had seven fish today. We uh, blew some sucker fish or just they didn't have it quite right. We had bad luck. We've still got a sassy sucker. But uh, tomorrow's our last full day. So we're gonna make the most of tomorrow. We just got some storms coming in the afternoon. So hopefully that'll be some bites. But we're off to a great week. Or we're just finished up a great week. We got 16. What's up with you? 17 fish, actually. So can't complain, we've had a really good trip. If you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, you should probably go check those out. We're gonna go back, eat some food. I'll be back here in the morning.